Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the beauty of what my yard looked like in 2017. I had this house built in 2014 and what it looks like today, but I'm going to share with you all some things that I think for those that do not have a green thumb, what you can do to make your yard look beautiful 24 seven year round, summer, winter, fall, and spring. So let's get into this and see what I'll be sharing. So this is what my poor yard looks like now and it's only because as soon as these were planted um, I had to leave and this was done back in early of um, early part of July I want to say um, and the reason why they're all dried up and died because when I had to leave to go to Florida my oldest daughter her father passed on the 21st of July so I would say this was done like a week or two before he passed and of course there's nobody here to take care of my flowers but me if you know of course not knowing that was going to happen um, I had this planted if I knew I was just going to be out of town period I wouldn't have had these planted but some of them are still alive and what I'm having my lawn man do is to take all of these out of this side I'm sorry about the light let me see if I can get to where you can see better yes get in the shade I look yeah okay so I'm gonna have my lawn guy come pull all of these up on this side and put them around my mailbox and then the rubber mulch that I got from Amazon which is a 12 year warranty on it. It's basically the mulch that they put in playgrounds for children to play on. I'm just gonna put that in my, where these flowers are. And then this side, I'm gonna have them pull all of these up and put them out around the tree. Now it's October, but what I've learned is that these come back. This right here is like a little bush now, instead of just a little flower head this white ones and these pink ones all of this right here grew up and this was something that he put down I want to say in 2017 yes yeah, somewhere in there this whole section this white and this here and these are um, I think begonias begonias that's what these are begonias and um, he didn't know, or rather his wife didn't know, he speaks Spanish, but his wife didn't know that they come back. And I told her, this here, I thought I pulled up, but I didn't. And it just came back, grew new buds. So instead of pulling all of this up and throwing it away, 
I'm just gonna have him pull them up and replant them around the bed and then the ones that are on the other side I'm going to have them replanted around my mailbox now I saw someone on YouTube a young lady on YouTube um, if I can find her channel where she shared this and her name I will link it in the description box below so you can see hers I went online and I ordered some fake ones that look just like this and they are UV resistant and they keep their color and they won't fade this is what um, it said on Amazon but I got them in the mail today and here they are look at that looks like the real ones don't they these are the real ones and these are the fake ones I'm gonna put them side by side. Look at there. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. And, hold on. Okay, so here they are in the bag. Here are the white ones. They have some where it looks like it's gonna bud up, open. And they, then here they are. They, this is what the leaf looks like. Now those don't look too real to me but the flowers look so real. I got them in that color, and then I got them in the red. Now I ordered some ones before I ordered these, which I think is different, so I'm gonna get those and show those to you. But I'm going to put these up against the ones in the ground. Okay, so I mixed the white ones in with these. Can you tell which ones are the fake ones? If I don't get close to them. The only way that I can tell is because of the leaves on the fake ones. When you get close, can you tell what's the real and what's the fake? You can't tell. This is the fake. And I'm going to pull it out. And this is the real. The red ones I put over here. Can you tell what's fake and what's real? This is the fake. And these, of course, are the real. Look at the, the yellow. Let's see if I can come over here. Yeah, see the yellow? So that's the fake. I mean, this is the fake right here and there's the reel reel is right here and this is the fake so I'm going to be buying mostly white because they look more real to me and I'm going to um, intermingle them in with my mailbox and in here and then I have these pink ones these are real of course but I'm gonna order some pink ones to go in here. Here are some other, oh, these are real, but when you just plant the, let's see, I'm gonna put them in here. The white ones in here. I'm gonna put this red one over here, and then you just spread them out. Look how real they look. And they say they're UV. I love them. The pink is the real. The red is the fake. And the white is the fake. But I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be ordering some more of these. So my first order that I did was I ordered these. And these look fake. They say they're UV resistance. I'm going to pull it up on Amazon and read them again. But I guess when you spread them out and mint, um, mix them with some real ones, you won't be able to tell them too much, but they even sound, you know, fake, which they are, but I'm saying it said that they were UV resistant. I don't know if it said it looked real. I know these stated that they did, the ones that I just shared with you. These are the fake ones that look so much like my ones that's in the yard. And then the... Um, red ones. So I'm going to order some pink ones because they have pink out there. 
and I know it's fall, but I still want my plant bed. And this has a little orange to it. So I guess if I mix all of this in, and I do it out in the yard, you still can tell, to me anyway. But maybe if I mix just a few, like one stem of the of these with these and the real ones, you want me to tell. But like I said, the ones that I planted down there, I haven't planted it like in two, 20, I want to say 2017 or 2018. Let's see, I was here, I moved here in 2014. I didn't get them to come do my yard until spring of 2015 and then got flowers plant. So 2016, I got flowers and stuff planted the next year. That set of the white ones, I didn't pull them up. I thought I pulled all of them up and noticed that they just bloomed back. So they die out and the buds just go back. So um, when he comes and moves the flowers around the mailbox and around the tree, that's when I will intermingle these with them. So when those die away, it'll still look like there's some life out there. So um, I will bring you all back to see that. But I just wanted to share with you all how real these look and I'm gonna order some more and they were not expensive at all. I got a total of, let's see, in the bag, I don't know what the bag said, but I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four reds and one, two, and four whites. So a total of eight. And then this other bag with these plastic ones that I'm going to, which I'm gonna just call fillers. Um, and then they come individually wrapped. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven. Two, four, six, eight. I'm sorry. So eight of these came in a pack, and I'll flash across the screen how much that was. And then eight of these. Four reds and four whites. I like the whites better. Um but I'm going to get some pinks and just make it pretty to make it look like the picture that I showed you when I first had this done when I created my DIY bird bath out there. Oh, my yard was so pretty and I loved it. But since I retired or in 2018, I have not been home no more than maybe two or three months out of the year. So I'm not really here to take care of them, but I still want a pretty yard. So I got this, oh, let me show you the fake mulch. Okay, this is the box that the mulch came in. And I, I didn't tear it open yet, but, and it is heavy, but it's a 12 year color guarantee. You need to hold its color and it's safe through all the weather. Um, through snow and rain, but it's outdoor rubber mulch. Nuggets. And this is made from recycled tires. Oh, here it is. Outdoor, let's see, manufactured IMC Outdoor Living, a Division of Liberty Tire Recycling. So it's basically like that stuff that the children that's in the playground. Such a cool idea to take old tires and you know what? I got a tire right there in the backyard. I'm not gonna, I'm a DIYer, but I don't think I'm a DIYer that deep. But here's what the mulch looks like. And you can see the rubber. This is what the mulch look like. You can see the little rubber um, the tire. Where it was a tire, the threads, that's what I'm trying to say, the threads. So it's a 12 year color guarantee, which makes sense because you know our tires are outside on our cars year round. Look, there's an even a tire thread. So I'm going to put this down. My lawn person 
he's going to um, put a brand new bag of mulch that he has and he's going to put down and he knows I like the black. I don't like the orange or rust colored one because it fades and it just looks dirty. <laughs> I know it's dirt, dirt, but I just, I like the black because the color is in front it's better. I just like how the color just pops out from the black. So, I don't know that this one bag is going to cover the entire thing. And I think this was just like 60 something dollars. I know it was under $100. And it's worth it, especially since it's a 12 year color guarantee. It's, going to, it's worth it. So I'm going to buy maybe two more bags because I have both sides of my garage and then my tree and around the mailbox. And I'm trying to prep my house for sale. Hopefully I can get it, the outside and the inside um, done and prep to put on the market by spring, no later than summer of 2022, because I'm ready to just move back to Florida, leave Atlanta and move to Florida. I only ended up in Atlanta because of a job relocation um, in 2013. And I bought this house in 2014 and retired in 2018. Um, had no plans to buy a house, but I wasn't going to continue to pay rent that was more than a mortgage. So I just bought my house and said I can always sell it or rent it. Not doing a renting thing. I had my fill of just not doing it. <laughs> so I'm going to get my house. I'm working on getting my house, you know, prepared on the inside. And I wanted the outside to look just as good. So I thought I'd just share that with you all. And when I get ready to plant them, then I'll bring you all along. So much for watching JRC restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone bye bye